Today's lesson is finding the area of squares and rectangles. The objective of our lesson is to find the area of squares and rectangles using the formula for area. This is the second lesson in topic 14 of Envision. These are the words that you will need to know for this lesson. You will need to know area, the number of square units needed to cover a space or region. And figure is a shape. And lastly, you will need to know the formula for finding the area of a space. When we are looking for area, we use the same formula. We multiply the length times the width. And that's how we find the area. So A stands for area, L stands for length, and W stands for width. If I have a length and a width, I have either a rectangle or a square. Now when I have a square, I know that all sides are equal. So if I know the number on one side of my square, I know that all four sides are the same. And for my length and my width, if I know the number on the short side, one of the sides, I know the opposite side is the same. So I would only need to know the number on one of the long sides. Okay, so let's get started with problem solving. Jorge is carpeting a room that is shaped like a square. So that's the first thing I know. One wall of the room is six yards long. How many square yards of carpet will Jorge need to cover the floor? So, the first thing I'm going to do is draw my picture. And I'm going to make sure, really hard, I'm trying to draw all sides are the same because I know that a square has all sides that are the same. If I know that one of the walls is six yards long, then I know that all of these sides are six yards. So, if I remember my formula for area, it's area equals length times width to find the space that is inside the figure. I know that one side is six and the other side is also six because it is a square so all sides are the same. That means the total area inside to be carpeted is 36. So 36 square yards of carpet is what he will need. Let's try another one. A small can of paint covers 40 square feet. Does Kenny need more than one small can to paint one wall of the room if the wall is six feet by eight feet? So I know that my one can covers that much, 40 square feet. The question is asking me if I need more than one can if I'm only gonna paint one of the walls. I know that that one wall is six feet by eight feet, and this by means times, or a length and a width. 
So if I have a short side that's six feet and a long side that's eight feet. Then I'm going to plug those numbers into my formula for area. Area equals length times the width. So it's six times eight. And six times eight, I know by my multiplication facts is 48. So 48 square feet. That's how big this wall is. This wall is 48 square feet. But my paint can only covers 40. So if I take away 40, I still have 8 square feet that are not painted. So Kenya will ne definitely need another can of small paint to cover that last part of the wall, the eight square feet. So one can is not enough. Let's try another one. Jen's garden is four feet wide and has an area of 28 square feet. What is the length of the garden? Sorry about that. Okay, so I know that this is four feet. I know my total is 28 square feet. I'm missing this number over here. So let's see if my formula for area is A equals a number times a number, the length times the width, and I have four times a number, and I know that the area already is 28. What number times four will give me 28? Working backwards. I know my multiplication facts, so 7 times 4 equals 28. So this missing side is 7 feet. Let's try a couple more. What is the area of the following figure? Using the formula, A equals length times width. I would plug in my numbers, 3 times 7. So area equals 21 square inches. Try another one. What is the area of the inside of this figure? So area equals the number, which is the length, times the other number, which is the width. So if I plug in my numbers, 4 times 5, 4 meters times 5 meters means the area is equal to 20 square meters. Let's look at another one. 
So I'm going to plug in my numbers. Area equals 8 times 14. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8. 112 square feet. Alright, last one. Let's find the area of this figure. It is a square, which means all sides are the same. So if this is 9, this side is also 9. So area equals 9 times 9. So area equals 81 square centimeters. Okay, now it is your turn. You are going to find the area of the following. Okay, so this one is a little tricky because we are going to measure. Okay, that is, all right, put your answer down. And this side. your answer down. And don't forget to draw your figures in box three. Okay, and don't forget that with centimeters. And if you have any questions or comments, please write those in box four. And add into box four, when would you use area in the real world? That's all for now.